from a distance, Venezuela's Caribbean coast looks as spectacular and unspoilt as it ever was. But take a closer look. Beneath the sea here, something is not right. These are swarms of what are called cannonball jellyfish, a species not normally seen in these waters. There are millions of them. In parts of Asia, these jellyfish are eaten and used in pharmaceutical production. But here there's no infrastructure to commercialize the haul. Locals see it as an invasion. It's the first time we've ever seen them here, says this fisherman. They're like a plague, he says. The jellyfish weigh down and break their nets. Today's sellable catch was just one fish. Nothing is the same anymore, he says, neither at land or sea. He says it's like the Bible warned. Experts are not quite sure what is causing this. One working theory is that overfishing has left the seas free for the jellyfish to thrive. Or climate change could be harming the fish, but not the more robust jellyfish. So we've been going along this stretch of the Venezuelan coast for about an hour now, and I can confirm that the cannonball jellyfish are absolutely everywhere. And it's not just here, it's along a massive stretch of Venezuela, the Caribbean coast of this nation, a species that normally is most often found in the Pacific and the Atlantic. Biologist Marco Caputo says that jellyfish, or medusa in Spanish, are the great opportunists of the sea. Don't touch the tentacle. Because of overfishing, uh, medusa and all these very resilient organisms are taking advantage of the availability of this food that has been, uh, uh, is there because there is no fish. After our interview, the expert was keen to take a closer look. The cannonball sting is relatively mild and easy to avoid as it has no tentacles. But getting this close to so many is not advisable. Hundreds of millions of years ago, the world's oceans were full of jellyfish. Perhaps their time is coming again. This may be a glimpse of both the past and the future of our seas. Stephen Gibbs, CGTN, Aragua, Venezuela.